Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an error saying the request timed out on your web browser and you seem to not be having a good internet connection. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. I should also point out this should work for all newer versions of the Windows operating system. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu and you want to type in command prompt. Best manage should say command prompt. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If and when you receive a user account control window, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Select yes. So now into the elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config space forward slash release. Keep in mind there should be a space in between the IP config and the forward slash. There should not be any space in between the forward slash and the release and you want to hit enter. Once you type that in you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word again attached by that forward slash in the beginning. You want to hit enter. Once you've done that you want to type in IP config space forward slash renew. Hit enter again. This will take a moment to run this command in particular, so just be patient. And then once that one is done, you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space I-N-T space I-P space set space DNS. So N-E-T-S-H I-N-T I-P set DNS, exactly how it appears on my screen. Then you want to hit enter. Once you have done running that command, you want to type in NETSH again, space WINSOCK, so W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, so NETSH WINSOCK reset, then you want to hit enter. And then at this point, you will have to restart your computer in order for the reset to take effect, which I would recommend you do after closing out of any open programs, Windows, or applications you have on your computer. And hopefully once you have restarted your computer, the problem that you were experiencing has been resolved and the timeout issue should be fixed. So as always, thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I look forward to catching you all in the next video. Goodbye.